Hello, my name's Aaron. Uh, I'm going to do a video on how to install real VNC server uh, on a Raspberry Pi on Ubuntu 64-bit uh, edition. As you can see, I've done a few uh, setups for real VNC on Arch-based uh, ARM or AARCH64 distros, also Fedora, open source, I mean Jaro and vanilla Arch, comes in really handy. I was never going to do one for Ubuntu, not a particular fan of Ubuntu, but I've had a lot of requests for it. So here we go. Uh, I've decided just to do a setup script rather than a deb full binary package. Um, so that's the way I will go for this particular Ubuntu. So I've just installed uh, a standard Ubuntu. I installed Ubuntu Mate ARM64. Um, I already tried it on the standard Ubuntu ARM64 edition and that worked fine. So I've decided to do it on Mate just as something a bit different, which is running a slightly less version in the 21 series. Uh, the current real VNC version is 6.9.1 as, as I'm filming this today. What the script will do, if you have a look at the setup script, it will copy the lib files in the needed places in Ubuntu. Now, as with all distros, these shared library files here are always in different spots because each distro has their own lib file locations and how they manage the Raspberry Pi firmware files is completely different for each distro. And Ubuntu is no different. So this just symbolically links the actual location to where real VNC needs them. Uh, and this is why most times real VNC won't work out of the box if you just try a generic uh, script to install it from the real VNC website. Uh, after it does that, it then goes and installs the official Debian package from real VNC. Then I've set it to enable the system D service and start it by default so you don't have to go back in and do that after you finish installing. So that's how it'll run. So I'm on my server at the moment, so I'll SSH, SSH into my Raspberry Pi, which is uh, 1.2.168.1.14, I believe. Yes, put the password in. So if we do a Neo fetch, you can see it's 2110, which is slightly less than the 2204 it's running at the moment, which you can currently get with the standard Ubuntu uh, running GNOME. Um, but this still should work fine. Um, that's why I'm deciding to try it on this. It's fresh installed, no, nothing special about it, no extra packages. This is pulled it straight to the SD card and booted it up. So, first of all, we need to clone my git repository. So I don't think git is installed by default in Ubuntu, is it? No, so we need to install it. So let's do that. Install git. You could obviously download the code directly from the website if you, if you so wanted to. That's up to you, but we'll do it the, the, uh, the old school or the normal way of doing it in my, in my regards, doing it via the terminal. Um, when I tried it on the standard GNOME, obviously Ubuntu GNOME logs in as a Wayland session. Now, obviously, real VNC at the moment will not work with Wayland desktop sessions, so you need to log in under Xorg, um, which has always been the case with real VNC. Um, I do hope that it, they will eventually get a Wayland port, but that's going to require a lot of work in the back end to get that working properly because Wayland is a completely different beast, as everyone would know, compared to Xorg. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that's something which could be developed in the future. So it gets installed. So now we go and, uh, I'll go and copy the uh, repository just from here. So we go a git clone to my repository. And it'll come do and download all the files. 
well there's only three, it's just the dead binary is the biggest which again is the latest VNC server which is 6.9.1 uh, the other thing to bear in mind with these free Raspberry Pi editions um, you, it will only connect via TCP direct mode um, if you wanted UDB direct mode you need an enterprise key um, so that's one limitation although for most users you're not going to notice the difference whether you connect via TCP direct or UDP um, UDP is obviously more efficient um, especially over a WAN so uh, if you do have an enterprise key you can just add it through the VNC license binary um, if need be but just bear that in mind because um, this free version will only connect via TCP mode out of the box right we are done so now we CD into that directory so CD real V I'll just put a star there actual wildcard there so I don't have to type it all out so there's the three uh, files so now as we look through the um, instructions I've got here so you install git and you clone it then you run the setup script so we may need to, we'll just see if we need to change the permission on the setup script, we'll see, but you may need to give it um, execute access, which we do, so just do a chmod on that. Right, setup. So now it's going to go through and install it. As I said, copy those library files, I'll put the symbolic link for those library files over. And um, away we go, and it'll, again it will start the service. Um, enable and start it by default, so you don't have to go into the system CTL, you know, enable and start afterwards. It does that for you. So I've had a few requests to do that as well. So I may change that in my Arch ones as well for the next uh, version bump, but we will see. And that's done. So now we will try to VNC into it. So let's open up 14, which is that one. Yes, password. And there we go. My desktop running Ubuntu Mate on the Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gigabytes version. So that's the install has gone successfully. You can go through the menu and go through all the different things. Terminal, Neo fetch. So it's all worked quite well. So again, this is running 22.10. This will work on um, all flavors of Ubuntu ARM64. You could use this on Budgie if you wanted to. Um, whatever flavors they do a ARM64 version for, the standard. Ubuntu ARM64 which is up to 22.04 so there we go guys a working real VNC version real VNC server on Ubuntu ARM64 for your Raspberry Pi boards hope you enjoy thanks guys